Welcome to this presentation. My name is Nico Sumelo. I'm the Program Director for MSC Real Estate Economics and Investment Analysis, and it is my pleasure to market this program. The, starting the program was my idea maybe five years ago. Um, before coming to UCL, I was at uh, London School of Economics. Before that, I was at uh, Cambridge University. And teaching real estate for a while made me realize that there was something that the market was missing. The market was missing a program that was really focused on analyzing the data that would allow you to make an informed investment decision. And this is why I've created this program. And this is why I'm so excited to be marketing this. Um, we, we've just started teaching it last year. Uh, so we are now recruiting for the second cohort. The first cohort is phenomenal. I really enjoy, enjoy teaching them. They have a great time on the program. So I'm really looking forward to um, recruiting the next year of students. So let me tell you a little bit about our teaching philosophy. So what we're trying to do in this program is we try to give you technical skills. So the, the first basic thing that we really want every graduate of this program to have are the technical skills that you will need in real estate in order to really look at data that comes from the market to you and be able to interpret the data, process the data, and then um, use that data and those insights to make an informed investment decision. Now, the second thing that we want to teach you is how to derive insights from the data. Now, of course, it's, it's a very valuable skill to just be able to get data and process it. But what, you, what we really want you to understand is we want you to be able to explain what the data means and really understand what you can learn from the data and what you cannot learn from the data. And this is really something incredibly important, especially today when there is so much data out there and a lot of it is purely, it is just misinterpreted. And finally, what we try to do is we try to explain how economists think about real estate. And this is very important because knowing the data and even knowing what the data tells you is not enough until you put some structure on this problem and really try to put it in a system that you understand of things that are moving together and jointly tell you something about where the market is going. So we're trying to do three things. Give you technical skills, tell you how to derive insights from data, and the third thing is give you a structure um, that you can use in order to interpret what the data is telling you and what the market is doing. That means that what we really want you to do is learn how to think critically about investment in real estate. Real estate very often is driven by trends, by, by gut feelings. You would not believe how many incredibly senior people um, still make decisions in real estate just because this is the way they've been doing this for five decades and they want to cont continue doing things a certain way. Now, what we want you to be able to do is think critically about what you want to do and what the data is telling you you should be doing. And we really want you to trust in your own analysis and insights. There is a lot of data from in the market. P different people will interpret the data differently. But what we want you to be able to do is make up your own mind about what you think the market is doing, what are the key trends driving the market, and be able to defend that, that position in front of other analysts and in front of investment committees. We really want you to be able to understand your position and trust your own insights. And finally, we really want you to be an independent thinker, one who asks really good questions. Because a lot of you will go into your jobs um, and have to present to investment committees. Now, the investment committees will tell you what they think about your ideas and your analysis. And then you will need to be an independent thinker. And you will need to show them that your analysis 
is really something fresh and something only you can deliver. And this is something we want to teach you. We really want to teach you how to build on your background, your unique skills, and use that to deliver an insight that only you can deliver. So now let me tell you uh, a little bit about how we approach teaching on, on our program. So our teaching is built on something that we call uh, the Bloom's taxonomy. And it's basically a pyramid of different cognitive domains. And we start by teaching you stuff that you need to remember. And these are basic facts. Um, but this is not enough in order to be a, an independent thinker and a true leader in the field. So the next layer is going to be understanding. And that means that you will not only be required to remember stuff, but also understand what this stuff means. That will allow us to move on to the next stage, which is applying. So the next stage is taking the stuff that you remember, understand, and then apply it in practice. And, and the, the idea is that we can use case studies, we can use practical problems, real life problems, and then we can teach you how to apply this in, in practice. After that, there comes the analyzing stage. So now that you can apply the stuff that you remember and understand, the next step is to be able to analyze what's going on and take apart stuff that you observe in the market and really try to understand this. And only after you master that part, you can move on to evaluating. Because after you analyze something, only then you can truly try to evaluate something that um, you need to understand in order to make a decision. And finally, the final step is creating something truly new, truly unique that only you can create, can make, and can, can deliver. So you'll see that we actually thought quite carefully about how we want to teach you and what is this, the process of learning that we want to take you through. And it, it takes you through um, the whole experience of becoming a, a truly exceptional real estate analyst, uh, from remembering basic facts about the market to creating your own unique insights. So how do, you, how, how do we do this exactly? You no, know, no, it's great that we show you the theory of how we're going to teach you. But of course, you're probably thinking, OK, well, that's great. What does it look like in practice? In practice, we're going to have the basics provided by traditional teaching. So this is going to be me in a classroom in front of a screen, showing you slides and telling you about interesting stuff in real estate. But that's not all we do. We also have flipped classroom. So this is the, the part where you, have, you, you are given some material before the lecture, and then you have to read it, prepare it, and assimilate it. And then in the classroom, you discuss it, you have a, a, a debate, and then you have a two-way interaction with uh, the lecturer, with a world-leading leading academic about that material. We also have active learning, so we give you different types of exercises. We give you different opportunities for interaction during the class, and then that allows you to get some feedback right um, in real time that you can assimilate and you can try to understand uh, whether you're going in the right direction or not. We also have case studies. We have excellent case studies with practitioners. We have uh, an advisory board that is uh, helping us design the right case studies and give you the right case studies that are based on real life investment decisions and real life problems. And that helps you really apply your skills to situations that actually occurred in real life. And now you get to learn from them and the outcomes of those decisions. We have group projects. Those are very important because at the end of the day, a lot of the work that you will be doing when you graduate is going to be group based. And this is why we uh, have a component in which we try to teach you what is the most efficient and effective way to work as part of a group. We have plenty of guest speakers um, and those vary from academics who specializes in something really, really unique to uh, experts and professionals who uh, bring in the practical perspective 
uh, on, on what we do. Uh, we have empirical studies, so we, we're going to be showing you the latest studies in um, real estate economics and real estate finance, and we're going to be explaining to you what they mean in practice, what they mean for investment decisions, and how you should be thinking about the real estate market according to the latest theories. And finally, we will expose you to the latest thinking, the latest academic thinking um, about the market, uh, the, about how the market works, about how the market should be working, about where the market is going. We have excellent academics and practitioners here at our department, so it's a great opportunity not only to understand the theory, but also how it applies in practice. So this is precisely how we're going to try to achieve our learning objectives that I have um, presented to you in, on the previous slide. So at this point, you're probably wondering about, OK, so now we know in general what we're going to be doing. But tell us a little more about the specific modules that we're going to be discussing. So the way the, the program is designed is that you have two terms of teaching. In term one, you will be doing four compulsory modules and nothing else. In term two, you'll be doing two compulsory modules and two optional modules, which I will cover on the next slide. Now, the first module in term one is going to be real estate uh, and urban economics. This is my pet module. As an economist, uh, this is, this is the, mo the module that I think uh, is the closest to my heart. It will tell you how economists think about real estate, why cities, ex cities exist, are cities becoming less interesting or more interesting because of the current situation, what makes real estate valuable, and how we can understand the choices firms and people make and how those choices relate to the value of real estate. So that's the first module. The second module is going to be financial economics of real estate. And this module is going to be explaining to you the basics of finance applied to real estate. Now, of course, finance is not special in a way that it would have special rules of finance. The same rules apply to finance in real estate as to general finance. However, real estate has a number of idiosyncrasies that make real estate more interesting. So real estate is not special, but it is slightly different. And the finance concepts that you, you normally apply everywhere else apply in real estate um, in a slightly different way. And this module is going to explain to you not only the basics of finance, but also how those uh, principles apply in real estate. The next module is something truly unique to this program. It's real estate data analysis. In this module, we will teach you how to take data, analyze it, and derive causal ideas or causal conclusions from that data. It's a fantastic module, something we spent a lot of time developing. It's cutting edge, and it's specifically designed for real estate. It is something that is truly unique to what we are doing, and we are hoping that uh, this module is really the competitive advantage for our program. The last module of uh, the first term is the analytical property valuation. And this is a module in which I will teach you how to find out how much a building is worth using data and analytical tools. It's a great module in which we take a new approach to something that has been practiced for decades, maybe centuries valuing real estate. And we take that approach based on the latest achievements in academic thinking. In the second term, what we do is we're going to teach you about property investment analysis. So this is really in practice, how do you invest in real estate and how do you make sure that your investment decisions are optimal? And the second module is going to be real estate asset management, which is the cutting edge theory and practice of managing real estate as a financial and operating asset. So hopefully that gives you a good idea of what the core module, modules are. And now let me tell you a little bit about the optional modules.
this is the list of all the optional modules that you can pick from. <laughs> of course, I'm not going to go through this list. I'm not going to go through what the individual modules are and, and tell you anything about um, the actual modules. What I do want you to understand from this slide is that there is a long list. There is a long list of modules that you can choose from. And the idea is that you will be based at the School of Sustainable Construction. And you will have a unique opportunity to really understand not just the real estate side of things, but also the construction side of things and the management side of things, and all of that in the context of sustainability. Now, on this slide, you can see the wide range of modules that you can choose from if you want to learn about supply chain management, you can. If for whatever reason you want to learn about um, infrastructure, you can. If you're interested in uh, relationships and marketing, you can learn about that. The idea for this is that you really can pick something that you think is going to be valuable to you, whether you want to focus on real estate development or whether you want to focus on, on marketing or anything else that is on this list, you can. And then you can bring this into your career as a truly unique perspective that only you have on the real estate market. So in theory, we can let you choose any module at the Bartlett School of Sustainable Construction, but it needs to be your choice. We will not be recommending uh, specific options to you. I mean, if, if you tell us specifically what you're looking for, we might be able to advise. But the idea is that you will make that choice. You will sit down and think, OK, of all these amazing modules, what is it that really interests me? And what is it that I think I can benefit from? When I was uh, a, a real estate student many years ago, I did environmental economics. and that, People I was studying with thought I was insane. They thought environmental economics had nothing to do with real estate. But time, times have changed and it turns out that it was a really good decision. And I really wish that you will do the same. You'll sit down, think through what really interests you and you will choose the optional modules based on your passion and your interest. Now, of course, those some modules will have limited capacity. so. It's not that you can choose absolutely any module from the list. Uh, you can't choose two modules that happen at the same time. So um, there may be some limitations. Uh, I, I, showed you, uh, I showed you a list of all the modules that you can theoretically choose from, but if they're full or if they happen at the same time as other modules that you want to attend, you will not be able to, to do that. But this is of course uh, a technicality. Um, I'm just mentioning this because Sometimes you can be disappointed that you can't do two modules at the same time. Right, so this is it. This is my presentation. Uh, I'm really looking forward to seeing your applications and I'm really looking forward to meeting you in September. I'll be more than happy to answer any questions uh, to the best of my ability. So let me know if, if you have any.